One of my multi eight figure mentors about four years ago introduced me to a, a concept that has tremendously changed my life. And it is something that I keep coming back to every six to 12 months, because if I don't, I find myself in a situation where I simply just don't want to be in. So in this video, this is what I'm going to explain to you and show you how you can take this concept and implement it in your life, in your business, in your day to day life. If this is your first time to this channel, my name is Bashar Katu and I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with the mission to impact 1 million lives at a time. So about four years ago is when I was looking into starting, or three years ago, I was looking into starting my consulting business because I found that there was a need for, you know, someone that was actually authentic, that actually really cared about people's results and that knew what they were doing uh, in the market to explaining to people that there is, you know, creating awareness in the, in the industry and in the world about the missed opportunities. And it wasn't just about, I wanted to teach people how to sell on Amazon, but it was just looking at my peers, looking at people that I cared about, people that really, people that I really like wanted to see succeed. And I knew that they could be doing better, that they had a lot more potential in life, but they were just kind of like almost wasting it. You know what I mean? And that's when I realized that I needed to help them. I almost felt like I had a calling. I was obligated to help these people, right? And so once I started my business, it, just like any other business, you know, I saw these like down cycles, right? And what I was thinking is it would be incredible if I can like mitigate the down cycles and only have up cycles. So what could I do to only have up cycles instead of down cycles as well, right? And that's when I came to the concept of the S curve. My, my mentor simply introduced this to me and I'm gonna kind of draw it for you and explain what this is to you. So ignore that this even exists, right? Just ignore that for a quick second and just look at this for a second. So this is what your business usually or your life or your relationship or anything that you do. And again, the strategies that I share here are only are not only good for your business, but they're all also good about relationships and other things, right? So if you look at this right here, again, ignore this for a quick second. But if you look at this for a quick second here, you're going to see that usually this is how people start with anything, any new relationship, any new business, anything. You start here steady, just kind of trying to find, you know, finding things out and kind of like learning. And this could be a day, a week, a month, a year, 10 years, whatever, right? And then all of a sudden you figure something out right around here, something, you have a breakthrough, something happens and bam, you just, you just blow up. And all of a sudden you have all this massive success. And again, this massive success could last for an hour, for a day, for a year, 10 years, hundred years, whatever. Right. But then everything that grows at some point is going to come to a point where it's going to end up right here. And it's going to go back to where this is going to repeat itself back here. Right. And so if you don't figure out something, this is going to start doing this. Right. And you don't want to do that because what doesn't grow dies. Right. And this is when my mentor taught me about the, the, the S curve. He said that you should always have a new S curve. In fact, this right here, I kind of misdrew it should be really like somewhere around here. So what you should do is you should ride the S curve as far and as high as you can. Don't start something new around here when it's actually like, it's kind of like, it's still good. Right. Start something new right around here, right when you see things are slowing down, right when you see things are like not as hot as they used to be, you know, numbers are not as well. Your relationship with your spouse is not as it used to be. Whatever it is, that's when you want to start something new. Now, this doesn't mean, you know, let's say if this is about relationships and you're probably like, wait, so does that mean that if I get bored of my spouse or my girlfriend, I should dump her and I should go and date someone else? No, that's not what this means. That just means that you should start looking into refreshing the relationship. You know, what was it? Maybe it was, you know, crazy, insane midday sex or something that lit up and that just rock, you know, skyrocketed your relationship. Maybe it was launching a new product in your business that skyrocketed your business. And now it's kind of got, you know, you, 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 you took everything and now it's like, okay, it's steady because I can't grow it anymore. Right. So keep it growing. Right. So then what you want to do now, you don't want to completely ignore this. You don't want to just dump it. Now you want to add another thing. Right. And again, if it's your relationship, you don't want to dump your girlfriend or your boyfriend. You just want to add another layer. Maybe it's adding a trip every quarter. Maybe it's going out on dates every now and then because, you know, you guys were hot for each other. You just started dating and you were, you know, uh, 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 um, going to bed every night and doing your thing. But now it's been like, you know, two years and it's like, OK, well, I had the same thing for two years. You know, we're not gonna, as crazy about each other as we were, but it's like, well, let's add a new flame, right? And that new flame comes right around here. And it's like, well, now we're gonna go out to dates once a week, or we're gonna go on a trip once a month or whatever. So that's the new S curve. 
if you are an Amazon seller or trying to become an Amazon seller, maybe that new S curve is taking your product from say, you launched in the US market, taking it to the European market or taking it to the UK market, or maybe that, that means adding a second product, right? But you don't want to do it too early. You want to keep pushing, 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 pushing until you get to a point where you just can't go anymore. And that's when you go to the second part and you say, okay, this is when I'm going to start a new product. That's when I'm going to, you know, uh, launch this product somewhere else. That's when I'm going to launch a second variation. That's when I'm going to, you know, um, uh, 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 maybe uh, start my own store off of Amazon, maybe start driving traffic outside of Amazon into my product, right? But again, you do see how this concept of the S curve can apply to anything in life, regardless if it's your business, your relationship, your Amazon product or whatever else. But I know for me, this is what I applied to my Amazon business. And now I'm applying it also to our consulting business, BJK University. So if you want BJK University to help you throughout this entire process, to help you launch your own Amazon business and to help make sure that we hold you accountable to making sure that you always have a new S curve below this video, there's a short presentation that'll walk you through exactly how BJK University can help you and how our enrollment coaches can actually get on a one-on-one -on -one call with you and explain to you how that works. Outside of that, hope this video found you well. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.